Heat TV presents Homework Hotline, the after-school show that fuses learning with fun. Watch local teachers bring the classroom on air and online. This is Homework Hotline. Hi, welcome to Homework Hotline. My name is Dan Schofield. I teach science at St. Bernard's Academy. And my name is Rita McConaughey, and I teach math with Northern United Humboldt Charter School. And you're watching Homework Hotline. Thanks for joining us today. We are actually in the kitchen yes, on our kitchen set. We are in the kitchen set, and so we figured we'd do some kitchen stuff, yeah. kitchen science. Um, we're going to uh, gonna do, deal with hot sugar and make some things with hot sugar. Awesome, who doesn't love sugar? Yeah, and it gets really hot. So um, if you are not an adult and you are trying this at home, make sure you do this uh, with, with a, an adult, yep. a parent, guardian, something like that. Somebody, because the, the temperatures are really get quite high. Um, this thing I'm trying to heat up to about 300 degrees. Um, and what is this thing you're, you're pointing at? This is, um, we're going to make some sugar glass with this Ooh, one. And it's been awesome. heating for a little while. And one of the things about this, one of the most important things about doing this, we're going to make rock candy and we're going to make sugar glass. We're going to try. Cool. This is the first time I've ever made rock candy. Oh, cool. Can you believe it? Well, I mean, I've done it before and I've messed up before. Oh. And the reasons why, the big reasons why you mess up with this, uh, for, at least for me, is I try to do things too quickly. I try to heat it up too quickly and I try to cool it down too quickly. And with this, it's all about taking your time and doing everything slowly. And so in that regard, we've done some stuff beforehand, um, but I'll show, I'll show how we go through each, each step. So if you can try it if you want. The ingredients are really simple. Um, they're, they're, it's just a lot of sugar is what the big thing is. Like a big bowl of sugar? Big bowl of sugar. So that's, that's what we're going to do. Um, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to get this to crystallize. And once it, in rock candy, you want to get the sugar to crystallize um, onto something okay. and to make it to make the, the crystals form. In the other case, we're going to try to make it not crystallize and make a sheet out of it. And so there's okay. two different ways we're going to we're going to do that. Um, we'll start with the crystallizing part, and that would mean that it, the, the molecules are all stable and they form a crystalline structure. And so sugar is normally like that. They have small crystals when you buy it in the, in the grocery store. And um, we're going to try to get it to form larger crystals when it comes out. And so what we're going to do is um, we're going to do something called super saturation of the liquid. That means normally a certain amount of water will only contain, I mean, water will contain a certain amount of sugar at a certain temperature. Um, and so what we're going to do is heat it up so we can put more sugar in it to oversaturate it okay. and then cool it down. And once it starts cooling down, then the sugar will, will have to come out of the liquid somehow. And we're going to try to get it to crystallize onto uh, something. So um, the something we're going to try to crystallize it on is you can use maybe a lollipop stick or, or I'm going to use a bamboo skewer. Um, and that, that's what we're going to try to do. First of all, I'm going to make, get these things set up. And the first thing you want to do is I've take... I've never seen rock candy, like on a stick. And right. so very similar right. you can do it on a stick. Have. You can do it on a string too. A lot of people do it on a string. It's the oh. same principle. But you want to do, make your seed crystals first. And that way you, you're going to have, when you put this in the liquid, you're gonna, the crystals will form on, on, um, on these seed crystals. And the way you do that is you, I'm going to take my bamboo skewer, I'm going to put it in some water, and then I'm going to coat it in sugar. And I've got some sugar on this plate. Oops, and that would be considered the seed crystals? These would be the seed crystals. And so this will be what the crystals will hopefully um, crystallize out on when, if okay. they work properly. Now, what you want to do with this is let it dry for about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes at least. And so um, before the show started, I did, I did a stick beforehand so we can actually put okay. it in there. So this has been drying now for like a half an hour or so. So it should be pretty dry. So I'm gonna I'll set this one aside to use later. Did you um, have to let the stick soak for a while? No, you just get no. it wet. Okay. Yeah, you just pour water on it. Okay. It works fine. As long as you get some crystals forming on it. Because, you know, sometimes they soak bamboo skewers before they use them on a barbecue grill, so they don't. But it's nothing yeah. like that. You don't have to soak it. Just get In it fact, wet. In fact, probably, I probably wouldn't want to soak it long because um, it would take longer to dry. Gotcha. Um, okay. So now that comes the sugar mixture. Okay. And what we're going to do with this is... We want to, it doesn't matter how much you use, it's going to be th pretty much three times as much sugar as you use water. And so I'm using a cup of water, and so I'm going to use three cups of sugar. 
And okay. so, so three to one ratio. Three to one ratio. And so we're going to try to supersaturate it and Turn it'll the light the up. fire, get the, get the water to start, start boiling. And while it's, it shouldn't take very long at all, but here's my, my three cups of sugar all laid out. I'll move some things around here so we have a chance to. One cup water, work. three cups sugar. Okay. And I probably should have had an apron on today, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm already spilling myself. What's going on right here is this is heating up and it's getting pretty hot. Um, while we're looking at that, this is, yeah, it's really close to being, we wanted that already. So um, this is for the sugar glass. And you're hoping to get that to 300 degrees yeah. Fahrenheit? 300 degrees Fahrenheit, yeah. Okay. About 100, 150 Celsius. Um, okay. And so it's getting close. And what, um, this is a little different. This, the sugar glass is, um, we use sugar in it, two cups, of, two cups of sugar, in this case, a cup of water, and then a cup of corn syrup in it because I don't want it to crystallize. I want it to um, become this amorphous um, stru structure so it makes more like glass because glass doesn't have, when you look through a pane of glass, you're not looking through actually crystalline structure. Um, so well, that's what we want to do with it. All right, so this water's getting good and hot. All we have to do is just boil this. So just take a second on that. Um, and again, once it boil water, if I put the thermometer in there, the water typically boils at 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, that's really handy that Celsius made 100 right. degrees Celsius be when water boils. Yeah, and then it, Fahrenheit is two, 212. 212. Um, and yeah, you can do some math with that too to convert, but, but it's, um, I mean, it's, it's the Celsius temperatures are all based on what water does, 100 degrees for boiling and zero degrees for freezing. So it works pretty well. So it's getting pretty hot here. You know, when the camera was on the water, you could see the little like bubbles start to form. And so like some people in the kitchen are like, oh, I can't even boil water. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know, and then like, well, how do you know when water is boiling? It just starts moving quicker. Right. Right. By, and, that, and no longer is in this liquid state. I mean, a water in a liquid, l water is the only element on the planet, I mean, not the only molecule on the planet, it's solid, liquid, and gas at the, um, at the temperatures the planet experiences. So That's it's cool. one of those things that experiences all three phases. And so right now it's going from a liquid to a gas. Because you can see it start uh, steam come off, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to turn it down a little bit because now we can start adding our, our sugar. Okay. And I'm going to add about a, sh a cup at a time of this. Do you have to stir it while And I will stir it? it, yeah. But I'll stir it up here. I, main thing is I want to dissolve it. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Your pot, your pot is hot, huh? My pot is hot. I can hear it sizzle. Okay, here we go. So you're trying to dissolve the sugar right. into the boiling water. Into, into the cup of, into one cup of water, three cups of sugar. So if you tried to dissolve three cups of sugar into a cup of water in a glass without heating it up, it would never do it. In fact, it'd be really hard to get even a cup in there. Um, but now I've got it. So once it gets clear, I'll add another cup. You know, when I'm cooking in other places, I call this a simple syrup. Yes. Yes, this is a simple syrup. In fact, in it, when you heat it up, um, the first part it goes through uh, when you make candy is this um, syrup. You make syrup, and that's the lower temperatures are all syrup. And it, gets to, it stays at syrup, uh, and it goes through these different phases as, um, as, it, as it heats up. And um, it goes up to, like, there's something called a soft ball. So if you wanted to make fudge, you'd heat it up to, I think it's about 240 degrees. Fahrenheit. Um, Fahrenheit, and that makes a soft ball, so you're making fudge. And again, fudge is the same thing. You want to have it heat up slowly, and you want to have it, have it cool down slowly. That's amazing. All that sugar is already dissolved. Yeah, pretty much dissolved. And so now I can put my last cup in here, approximately a cup. Maybe I'll take a little bit more time here. Let's say you accidentally grabbed salt. How would you know the difference? Because they both <laughs> would dissolve, right? <laughs> they do look the same. They look <laughs> similar. Um, I think dissolve, salt would dissolve a lot easier. Um, I think you'd certainly know if you tried to, once you tried to taste it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, you I would. One time I baked brownies with, when I was younger, because I've, I've been baking for a long time, and I forgot to put the sugar in. I don't know why I forgot to put the sugar in, but I put, forgot to put the sugar in my brownies. <laughs> and they looked beautiful. They came out, they were perfect looking. They just didn't taste And then we had a good? taste of it, and it was, you know, unsweetened chocolate with, oh. in brownies, without sugar. Mm -hmm. It was, um, 
it was less than satisfactory, let's put it that way. But yeah, you make mistakes in the kitchen, and that's, then that's fine. Um, as long as you're being safe, um, you can uh, experiment in the kitchen and try different things. It's the, one of the best ways to learn things. Okay, that is pretty close. I'm going to put my last little bit of sugar in one there. One thing I notice is you're using a longer utensil to stir it. Yes, I am. Because it gets hot, so you don't want to use a short utensil. Another thing I like to use um, with this is either a plastic or a wooden spoon um, because the temperatures are high and, and uh, Man, heat goes... Man, I can't believe how well that dissolves. Heat goes up metal really easily. So this is going to... I did this on purpose just for the purposes of the show. Um, <laughs> but it's going to be a little tricky here. We have to be a little careful because I, I used a smaller pan. I would recommend using a much larger pan in this at home, but I want to give a real good view of this. Now we're going to heat this up and just to boiling. So 212 degrees it'll Fahrenheit? Be, it'll, yeah, it'll be approximately 212. Um, sugar solutions will get higher than that. In fact, I'm going to take a look at this one real fast because I get the feeling. No, we're good. Is it, did it hit 300 yet? Not quite yet. Okay. It's still just below. It's perfect. And so your flame is really low on yeah, that. That's so you're just kind of keeping it yeah, at now, the temperature. Right. As with all of them, I don't want to heat it up too fast. I'm going to stir it until it boils. Um, once it boils, I can, once it boils and completely dissolves, I can take it off of here. Um, and the, cause I wanna, because I want to cool it down slowly. And I want to cool it down slowly. The reason why I want to cool it down slowly is because um, uh, it, it'll, it starts crystallizing out. And it'll turn into like a gritty mixture if I don't. If it cools down too quickly, um, the sugar molecules will, the sugar crystals will start forming in the solution. And you'll have this sugary mass <laughs> instead of a cl nice, clear solution. I moved it away from the flame a little bit there just because this has a tendency to boil up over right when oh. it first starts boiling. Um, so a small container like this, I would not recommend using at home because I'm barely... This is so the Reminds camera... Reminds me when I'm boiling water for noodles, you know, and then it like just boils Yeah, if it's at, you know how it first boils and we boil water for noodles? Same thing with the sugar here. I, it's, it's, we're past that point now. Okay. So... Once I boil it and once the, this set, it settles down here, um, we'll be done with it. All right? Okay. So it should be doing that pretty soon. So a lot of rock candy that I've seen in the stores, though, it's like it's not clear. Like this one looks clear. So are we going to add maybe coloring to it Yes, later? we get to okay. add color. And I've got, I've got some teal that I added to this other one. Okay. But we also have magenta, orange, or purple. So I'll let you pick which one you want to do. Okay. Let's see, what color is magenta? Magenta is red, right? Yeah. Um, let's do red. Magenta. Magenta. Okay, yep. we'll do magenta. That sounds okay. great. Okay, we're about to ready. That's good. Good timing because we're about ready to do that. We're about ready to add that. So you add it after it's already boiled and dissolved? And right. As soon as it's done boiling is when, or when it's all dissolved, is when I can add that. And just a reminder, if you're not to be in the kitchen, Without an adult, you know, you need to wait and do this with an adult so that they can help supervise right. and tell you, because show you how to be safe. Hotter than boiling. And if you got hot sugar on you, it wouldn't come off even like water would. It would stick to you and keep burning. So it would oh, be man. no fun Ouch. whatsoever, <laughs> to put it mildly. Okay, I'm going to turn this down and off. That's one cool way down. to get over a sugar addiction. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let the bubbles go away. And it should be a nice clear liquid when it does. Um, and again, the, like I was saying, the key to this is getting it to cool down slowly. Heat it up slowly, cool it down slowly. Are and there so many bubbles because it's just hot? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then it, they should go away here real soon. Oh, wow. All That's right. It's really neat to watch. And it's nice and clear. Okay. Um, and it's ready. And if you want to, you could add a flavoring to it at this point or... What Rita said, we're going to add some magenta color to it. And it doesn't really matter. You put a little bit in, you can put a lot in. But I'm just going to put a little in here. And then I'm going to stir it up nicely. And Ooh. there it is. Pretty. Kind of a pretty red color. All right, so what do we do next? Well, what we do with this is you want to let this cool. Just the way it is. Do you want cool. me to rinse that off? Just like it. I'm going to put it in this little bowl here. I mean, this okay. thing. So it cools. And it, you want it to cool for about 25 minutes. Um, just leaving it alone. And, and the thing with this is, 
You don't want to cool it too fast because then it'll start crystallizing and it'll turn into this gooey gotcha. mess um, gotcha. when you try to do it. Um, so, but fortunately, I did have another bat that I have started here. The um, blue batch and matches, it's the blue batch. matches me. This is perfect. <laughs> and we're going to use this. I'm going to okay. get away from the edge here a little bit and try to keep those crystals from going in there. Um, okay. And what you do with this is I'm going to pour it into a glass jar. Um, you can put it into different glass jars. The more, the more space you have, the more possible crystallization you get. And then um, I'll pour it into here. And a funnel would be good, but. And you are live, you know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Doing a great job. I know, the, like, the cooking shows you have, they're all taped and everything like that. And they said, this is what happened. Um, we have no benefit of doing that. Okay, so we have a nice solution here. And what I want to do is, this is the one I did before. So it's already cool already for about 25 minutes. And so I want to put the, my seed my, crystals, my seed crystals in there on side my bamboo skewer. Yeah. And I want to have it about um, an inch or an inch and a half off the bottom of the mason jar. I like to use mason jars. Um, they're, they're good, but you can, use, you can use a metal container or something like that. Sometimes these cool, these cool a little too quickly. Um, so you can even put it in some hot water for a little bit so they don't, it doesn't cool so fast. Gotcha. Um, and so it cools down slower. But I, hopefully this will work and we'll, we'll find out when um, we come back on Thursday. Um, then I'm going to use a clothespin. I'll put it in here and kind of gauge about how high up. That's actually pretty close, right, right there. So I want, it, I want it in the solution, but above the bottom. Because if it's not above the bottom, then it'll stick to the bottom and I won't be able to get it out. And then I just set it in. How cool. And there we go. So, and then uh, this will take ideally three to five days. We'll see if there's anything going on in two days, but. Do you I'd have to rotate it or anything? No, just let it sit. Just let it sit yeah. and let the water evaporate and it's the sugar what's, what's, just crystallize? Well, what's going to, it's going to not evaporate. It's just, I mean, it will evaporate some, but the big thing it's going to do is cool down, right? And then so the sugar will no longer be able to stay in the solution. It'll no longer be able to stay dissolved. And so it'll, um, it will crystallize out of the solution be, and it'll hopefully grow on the seed crystals and be good. So, but we'll see. When you say crystals, like what shape are you talking about? Um, I, you know, I don't know what Like a prism? Like prism-like things, prism, yes. Prism, but like, like spiky? Can be spiky. Okay. They, they mean that if you looked at a, at the sugar up in the microscope or something, I mean, I, or a magnifying glass, you'd uh -huh. see little crystals. Um, I know, I've just seen rock candy where it's like mountains. Right, you know, like right, and spikes. that's, just, yeah, it can be really big. We'll, and we'll see, we'll okay. see what it does. It's always interesting cool. what it does. Okay, so this, I'm gonna heat this up a little bit. Now the big thing about, again. So that was rock candy. Rock candy. That was three cups sugar to one cup water. Right. And the temperature was 212. You're just just boiling. As soon as it boils, you're done. Just at boiling. Okay. And now we're doing sugar glass, which is two cups sugar, sugar one cup water, and two to cup. one ratio, sugar to water. And a, corn, and a cup of corn syrup. Oh, and some corn syrup. And okay. Cor the corn, corn syrup keeps it from oh. crystallizing as much. I so, see. Um, I, mean, I heard you can use a pinch of tartar sauce with it as well, and that tartar, helps. Tartar Tar sauce? Tartar sauce, and it, it uh, helps it. Okay, now, you can see this is already starting to caramelize a little bit, which we want like to avoid. Like tartar sauce you use for fish? Yeah. Or do you mean like tartar? Cream of tartar. Cream of tartar. Cream of tartar. That's Sorry. different than tartar, tartar Sorry. sauce Cream of tartar, fish. never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, not tartar sauce. I was like, sauce. you totally ruined my sugar addiction here. Okay, actually this is right about a 300. And if you, I, have a, I have a candy thermometer, and um, that's a great way to use it, thing to use. But okay. you can also take this, actually, I'm going to use... Do you need me to wash something? For yeah, you? real fast. Okay. This. So you, if you don't have a candy thermometer, you can't get that. You can tell it's um, at this stage. You want to have it to what's called hard crack stage, which is about 300. Um, and then if you don't know you have at that point, it does turn this kind of golden amber color, which is what we want um, and what is, this is at. And it takes a while. Again, if you heat it up too much, um, it'll start caramelizing. And there you go. You don't want it, I mean, caramelized it still works, but it just gets almost burnt looking. And I can take this, and then if I drop this in the water. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of. It, like it looks like slime. It looks like slime, but, but when I pull it out, I'm going to pull it out with the bam bamboo skewer, and you'll see what it looks like. Okay. 
Wow. Can you add coloring to this too? I'm going to. I'm going to and this is called sugar glass. Sugar glass. All right. Kay. So again, you don't try this at home. <laughs> try it at home, but just with the, with when your parents looking. Yeah, look at right. that. Right. Unless you have some supervision. And, and you help. can see this, it comes adult out like this. Adult supervision and adult. Wow. And that's, yeah. This should be, yeah, it's brittle. Wow. And then yeah. give it on over to me. Yeah, go ahead. Cool. Now, like, like we said, you can add some color to this, and this would be the time to do that. And when, if you do add color to it, you want to work really quickly with it. All right? Maybe you can get this one. Get that off. Thank you. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Oh, there's like, there's like a string of sugar. Yeah, it's a string of sugar. Okay, so I'm going to take the candy thermometer out of here and put it over here. And the other thing I prepared here is this sheet of um, Who knew a sugar pan, was and you can use you can use um, a like a rubber mat or something like that. Or, but I just took I just took a cookie sheet and used some um, no stick spray on it for this part of it. And but when you do this, it's going to start cooling right away. So I want to stir if I want to stir in something. And I guess we did magenta and we did uh, teal. So let's do purple? just a real light purple. Okay. So I just put a little tiny bit of that in. Happy Teacher Appreciation Day, by yeah, the way. Yeah, it's lovely. Okay. All week. So I'm gonna I gotta stir it in quickly. Wow. And then. And that was 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes. Okay. And because this when this starts cooling, it cools pretty quickly. And I'm just gonna pour it out on the sheet. Okay. Do you need hot pads? I, it's it's actually quite cool. The, the sides are. are it's cool? it's, okay. it's holding heat pretty well. All right, now I'm going to put this right here. I got, my hands are sticky. Yep, <laughs> that's what happens here. It's all for science. Okay. Yay, science. Now I'm going to pour it here. And you just pour it out on your sheet. And this is going to make sugar glass. Mm -hmm. Wow. There it is. Now you can do a couple different things with it. And now we'll... We'll play with this when we come back on Thursday, but um, you want to let it sit for about an hour or two before you try to mess with it. And one of the things you can do with it, if you really want to make it look good, is you can take a little um, a toothpick or the end of a, um, a, a skewer to go pop any bubbles that are in here. Like that one. There we do go. you want me to put this other sugar glass on there? So sure. That we can see can it. Compare it. Yeah. Yeah. Again, so this will form a, a nice sheet, um, and uh, hopefully, and you can actually, you know, this, I, I've heard that they, in the old film industry, they make this stuff in large quantities and break it over people's head, so. Really? Yeah. Because it looked like real glass? Yeah. And then yeah. they would break sugar glass over? Right. And so let's play around with a little bit of this. I'm going to okay. pour some more of this in here. So this is what it's going to look like. Oh, I hear the bubbles popping on the pan still. Very cool. And, and again, this is what you can, that's what you can tell with this, um, of how, how uh, hot it is. Um, can I, can I cut your skin? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't tried Because I have a little piece of sugar glass on my hand, and I felt like I just cut myself with glass. I imagine you, you could. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> So be extra careful with the sugar glass. <laughs> if you're gonna if you're gonna make sharp pieces, but here we go. This is the I'm trying to pull. This is pretty stringy, but um, here we go. Oh, you gotta try the spoon, huh? Up, oh, we're out of luck. <laughs> 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 anyway, we got we got these pieces of purple sugar glass. Anyway, I don't know. What if you poured it on my hand? What if we could pour some Pour the out. water yeah, out. Yeah, pour the water out. That'd be great. Because I got to use that for the next uh, rock candy. Okay. Um, anyway, so this one again is cooling nicely. We'll just leave it here to see what kind of, sh what, what kind of things form. And then we'll also um, see how the one forms. That's great. Oh, look that's that. really pretty. Yeah, take a look at that. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like really shiny. Maybe because it's wet. Yeah. But yeah, that's great. Okay, you put it right there. Um, next to here? As long as it's not on that part. Good. Okay. Okay, and we'll just leave this in the studio, um, and then we'll play with it when we come back. Okay, and then um, you need more water? 
I don't know. We could. I'll okay. just, we just use. We need to use that for a little bit. I'm going to pour the other one of those. We'll have, so we'll have both kinds of. Uh, we'll have both kinds of um, uh, rock candy for it. So again, for rock candy, again, you just heat the water up to until uh, it boils. Um, put the sugar in, get it to dissolve, and then you can use your um, you can use your um, seed crystal support into there. Um, and for the sugar glass, you want to um, heat it up until it gets to hard um, that hard crack um, phase, and then um, oh. and then let it cool down. But again, slowly, slowly, we'll get it to work. And this one looks pretty good. I'm going to get. There's like one bubble in here I want to get out. Do you think these are easy to clean? I'm just thinking on the other side of this. Is this, do you just let it soak in more water? I, I, with water, it'll get it. Water yeah. and soap. Um, I, I'd made some the other day just for the fun of it, just to see if I remembered all the things about it. And I got it, I got it to clean off really easily. Um, just hot water in gotcha. there. Hot water and then it works out pretty well. All right. Mm -hmm. So Thursday. Thursday, we'll see our rock candy. Can I see what it, is it doing anything yet? What do you think? Not yet. No. I hope not, because that means it was coming out of the solution already. So. I see. Um, are we, are we, I hear we're going to do something with eggs, maybe. Hopefully, we're going to do eggs your way on Thursday. That's what I'm thinking. But we're going to use the stovetop and cooking, and you're going to do some fun science things with eggs as well. And I think, like, the sugar... Can we try to put more in water and see more like a blue glass? Sure. Can we try that? Okay. Yeah. Let me see. <laughs> Something about blue. Okay. All right. And then do you have a spoon I on do. the end? Yeah. Okay. Now, let's see if we can get, one of the ways you can get this off of here is just put the water in it. Oh. And heat it up. Oh, I like that. But yeah. I see. Well, if I put water in here, will it make the glass? We'll see. Let's see it. Am I using the wrong one? No, this this is the rock crystal. Yeah, this is this is the one we that have has to the, use glass. the glass. And can I do blue with that? Sure. Okay. All right. We'll try to get You're some gonna more. You're going to try to get. But if you, yeah, if you just put water in it, it'll turn. It should all turn to glass. Yeah. You want to try that? Oh, we'll put, you'll put this in there. Sure. Okay. That sounds. This good. is fun to explore. Oh my <laughs> goodness. This is. This is even cooler. We can have hair. <laughs> It's like, okay. All right. <laughs> what do you want to do? Put it in here? I don't think we need to. <laughs> I don't think so either. This is cool just looking at it. It's very thin. And um, look how easily it breaks too once we, once you get it, once it cools off. Yes. We can put this it. This is neat. I do not suggest going fishing with this, even though it looks like fishing line. <laughs> All right. Well, this is fun. Thanks for joining us, you guys. Thank you for the science, Stan. Yeah. And um, who knew you could have so much fun with sugar? Well, yeah, except eating it. Mm -hmm. you also and I that. have All my right. mask on. I can't taste See it. See you next time. <laughs> Bye, guys.